Hello student, today we are going to learn an important topics what is whole basis system and what is SAP basis system. To obtain the desired class of fits, either the size of hole or the size of the shaft must be vary. The application of either system, whole basis system and shaft basis system depends on many conditions such as the nature of the product, manufacturing method, the condition of the raw materials, etc. Two systems are used to specify a fit. Number one, whole basis system. Number two, sap basis system. Any one of the system can be used. Okay. Now, what is whole basis system? In the figure, this is the whole, whole, this is sap 1, this is sap 2, this is sap 3. Here, whole is fixed size. This is the basic size for hole and shaft. Here, varying the shaft size. In this case, this is hole and this is shaft one. There is positive allowance. In this case, this is hole and this is sap 2. There is zero allowance. In this case, this is hole. This is sap 3. This is negative allowance. Now, when the hole is kept as a constant member and difference fit are obtained by varying the sap size, the limit system is called whole basis. Okay. Here, in whole basis system, high and low limit of the hole are constant, that is, hole are fixed. The whole basis system is the most extensive in use whole basis system is generally preferred in view of the functional properties this type of system is widely adopted in industry as it is easier 
to manufacture set of varying sizes to the required tolerance okay now what is set basis system in the figure this is the set this is hole 1 this is hole 2 this is hole 3 this is the basic size for hole and shaft here shaft is fixed size here varying the whole size different whole size in this case whole and shaft positive allowance in this case whole and shaft zero allowance in this case whole and shaft negative allowance okay when the shaft is kept as a constant member and difference fit are obtained by varying the whole size the limit system is called shaft basis here in shaft basis system high and low limit of the shaft are constant that is fixed Shaft basis system is not preferred in industries as to produce correct size hole it requires more number of standard size tools such as drills tap reamer watches and gauges which increases manufacturing and inspection cost the size of the shaft producing turning in a lathe grinding etc which is very easy okay now what is the advantages of whole basis system over shaft basis system in the manufacturing point of view a whole basis system is always preferred correct hole of fixed sizes are usually produced and finished by standard tooling like drills taps, reamers, etc. whose size is not adjustable. Whole size cannot be changed easily. The size of the shaft which is to go into the hole 
can be easily adjustable and is obtained by turning or grinding operations. Here, shaft can be changed easily. Moreover, in mass production of any dimensions of a shaft is easier than producing any dimension of hole. The majority of the hole are made with a deal or rimar or some other cutting tools of similar nature. If the size of hole is varied, a very number of cutting tools of varying sizes is to be employed. It is not possible. By adopting whole basis, one size rimar or deals or taps is sufficient for all holes of a particular diameter. Okay, it is clear my student. Thank you.